Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. Today's going to be a really quick video. It was requested by Jasmine. She asked me to compare the two bronzers I have from Hourglass called Diffused Bron Bronze Light and Nude Bronze Light. So what I'm going to do, oh, and also to compare the highlights that I have from Tom Ford, which I um, showed in my previous haul. Um, the colors I have are Gilt Glow and reflex guilt so i'm going to be applying these products to like one side and one side um just so you can see the difference uh if there is any like um obvious difference so it's going to be a very short video what i'm gonna do i have all of my skincare on right now um and i do have on the cream pigum 400 mixed with the emulsion original regenerant um and then i topped it off with a finishing serum so I'm going in with the diffused light from Hourglass under my eyes. And instead of using concealer, this is all I'm gonna put under my eyes today. I'm also gonna take it a little around the redness of my nose and I don't wear foundation or any tinted moisturizer um, so having products stick to my skin is a little difficult so what I normally do because I like my bronzer to be obvious um, I put on my bronzer pretty much right away after I put my skincare on so what I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do first is the bronzer um, I do want to mention that the Gilt Glow from Tom Ford, this one here, um, is lightly pigmented. And so when I use this, I like to go uh, in with this first before my bronzer. Um, but I don't think that that's how a lot of people will put their highlight. I feel like a lot of people put their highlight on the, at the last step. So I, I wanna give it like a true uh, test. And actually, I have to use a um, dense like highlight brush in order to apply that otherwise it'll be extremely sheer um, so first going in with nude bronze light from nude bronze light from hourglass and I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G designer pro brush and so this color is I think the most neutral of all of the hourglass bronzers and it's also <clears throat> the most matte and it barely shows up on my skin however it is an extremely like natural bronzer for my skin tone And I like to bring it up to my nose in the summertime, cover all this area. And I've got more of a double chin lately. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off my brush and a towel. And I will go in with diffused bronze light on this side. Same brush. Oh, and this is diffused bronze light. And I really, really like this shade too. Um, I feel myself gravitating towards this one a lot, actually. <clears throat> Although I do really like the shade of that color. And these bronzers are a little too pale for me to contour with. And I feel like I got a little bronzer too low, but I'll go in and clean that up with the diffused light. Okay. 
taking my sponge with diffused bronze light underneath or I'm sorry diffused light underneath okay so I don't think you're gonna be able to tell in this light but this side does not have a glow and this side has a slight sheen but on the skin this side this looks a little more like cool toned and this is a true neutral i really like both i'm gonna end up collecting all of them <laughs> and my mom does have uh the luminous bronze light so i think at um one point i'm gonna at some point i'm just gonna ask her to borrow that bronzer so i can do a much more in-depth comparison and so the last thing i'm gonna do is highlight um and i'm gonna do the i'll do the gilt glow on this side because i think we have a little bit more sunshine coming through right here um and then i'm just using this sephora highlight number pro highlight number 98 brush i don't think you can get this anymore um but i it's it's just a really like densely packed brush it actually reminds me of the shape of the sonia g um that mini cheek brush i think it's called and i'm going straight into the product It is extremely natural on the skin. I really, I'm loving this. Um, if you like a shine bright kind of highlight, I don't think this is going to be your jam. Um, but I, I've been really loving just like a subtle glow, especially because I haven't been wearing too much makeup. So I don't want a lot of glitter all over my face, but that's just, oh, I freaking love that highlight and i'll swatch it too it's very powdery whereas the uh reflex guilt is very it's like a gel powder so that's the color and as you can see like my skin is not gold um it kind of has like a like a peachy tone to it I'm, I'm obsessed with this highlight um if you can find it um and you like a, a subtle glow i would highly recommend this and this is a great color to put like all over your face too um if you just want like a glowing face because it's so uh subtle so i'm going to clean this brush off and i'm going to go in with the reflex guilt on this side i love that color or I love that highlight. Okay, so um, <laughs> this one has two shades and I will swatch them both for you next to here. So I'll keep this in the middle and this is, these two are the Tom Ford swatches. So gold and pink. Um, and since these two are most similar, um, maybe I'll go in with that one first, but I normally just mix the two and I'll show you what that looks like right here. That's the two mixed together. And this is another really beautiful highlight. It doesn't look, um, like the, the glitter, the shimmer, the glitter glow doesn't look like juvenile on the face. It looks more, um, elegant on the skin. Oh, yeah. So this side has the gold and this side has the pink so i'm gonna put the gold on first and this one is like bam in your face already i'm gonna go in with just a little more yep that one is th this is like super um super glowy but it, it's not like it's not garish um and this is just so oh i i love them both um but i'm gonna go in with the pink color and what i like to do is i just um if i don't mix them together on the brush i will keep the gold on the top of my highlight and then i'll put the i'll diffuse like the pink color 
all over my cheek yeah and this is really pretty too and actually for for the sake of this video i'll move i'll move the camera so that we can get a better So as you can see, like you're seeing more shine reflecting off of here. And then here, you're kind of seeing like light bounce back instead of shine. But they're both really beautiful. If you asked me to choose, I couldn't. <laughs> I'd get doubles, <laughs> at least of this Gilt Glow one. So I'm gonna just like put it all over the place because I'm actually gonna go out right now. Um, but yeah, so that is the Diffuse Light Bronzer. And then this is the nude light bronzer and you can it's like the, the difference is super subtle um but i can tell the difference in the mirror um if you don't like any shimmer and you really want to try an hourglass bronzer this is a really good one to try but if you're any darker than me i don't think this, this is going to show up on your skin and neither is this one I think the only color that might show up is the Radiant Bronze Light, unfortunately. And <clears throat> I have another bronzer in <clears throat> I have another bronzer in their Ghost Unlocked palette. It's like a six pan palette. That is the most beautiful bronzer shade, and it is I think the deepest one that I've ever seen Hourglass make. And I'm obsessed with that tone. I actually emailed them to make that shade and more of the shades uh deeper, like ambient powder shades permanent in the line and they didn't say they will but I made it known that I think that people would enjoy that so if you want to try hourglass products and they're a little too pale for your skin email them let's email them like crazy to make more shades because a lot of the colors don't look good on so many skin tones they can look ashy pink um anyway so I'm just rambling um but yeah so that those are the two different differences. Um, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is wipe off my brows and go in with the Tom Ford bronze brow gel in espresso. This is a really um, handy brow gel if you don't wanna fuss with your brows too much but you do want them to kind of look a little filled in. However, I don't think that this is worth like the $54 that it costs. I feel like you can get a similar look with a much cheaper product. So I'm gonna skip mascara today. Um, I'm actually in a rush, but I hope you like that video. If you have any other recommendations, please leave them down in the comments. I think I'll do another video like this comparing the Tom Ford bronzers. Um, but please let me know if you li would like to see more comparisons. And I'm actually going to go in with more nude bronze light because I feel like this side is just a little paler. Maybe what I should do is even it out. <laughs> but I hope you get the gist this looks a lot more matte oh i didn't even do that on purpose put the highlight with the le le like lesser glow with the more matte bronzer but that does look really nice it pairs really nicely and then this is just like a bam glowy cheek okay i'm gonna cover it up with this now <laughs> And then diffuse bronze light a little bit on this side. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the reflex gilt on this side just to even myself out because I'm going to look super glowy on this side and not that much on this side. And I'm gonna just swatch the bronzers on my other hand. Nude bronze light, diffuse bronze light. 
they look almost pale. Nude Browns Light is up, is up here, diffused right there. So they don't swatch well on my skin tone at all because I'm pretty much the same color as the Nude Browns Light, but Nude Browns Light looks a lot more natural on my skin tone. But I really love both of them. I don't think I could choose and I think I'm gonna buy <laughs> more shades. But yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment um, if you have any uh, requests um, and like the video and subscribe.